First of all, John, tell me about your company and, and what it provides to the market. All right, TZ Limited is a technology provider. It's based out of Australia. It's a publicly listed technology company. And I guess our claim to fame is our smart device technology. So we basically develop devices that are intelligent, locking devices that we implement into solutions like this uh, RPAD solution we have here. And what makes your lockers different to the others that are on the market? Well, in the first instance, we have an IP addressable smart device. We've spent over $40 million in developing that technology, and that means we can remotely control these smart locking devices over the internet, and we can have integrated sensing and switching in the locks themselves. And that makes them unique, because it makes every enclosure where we put one of our devices intelligent. And I guess it's something that will help consumers. This is a, a consumer model where, whereby here, where consumers are worried that they may be out at work and they'll come back and, and, and they'll be vandalised or, or robbed. The phenomenon of e-commerce is about basically ordering online and having convenience, but the problem is, is actually getting that last mile delivery. And most people are not at home when the deliveries are made and either they get uh, a card and say go to the post office to pick up, but ideally they'd love to have the actual goods secure at their home and this particular product which we're launching here at Post Expo is essentially the next generation mailbox individual parcel locker for the home. So no more having to go to a supermarket or a town centre to use the bigger ones that you also do, you can have a personal. At the end of the day parcel lockers have been very popular, they're all around Europe as we've seen but ultimately customers want to have their parcels at home and this provides an opportunity for that. Typically a courier will have a reservation made to the locker, there'll be a label that'll have an authenticating QR code so that the unit can identify that the parcel is authorised to be delivered to the locker. I scan the parcel, the locker opens, I put the parcel in the locker and I close the door and the transactions finished from a drop-off perspective. So one of the features about this technology is our ability to remotely control the release of the device. So I have a mobile phone app which I can launch. It will have a list of all my parcels that have been delivered. I can select the one that's been delivered to my house and I have the ability then to remotely release it. So I'll swipe it, it'll tell me to unlock if I hit the unlock, it'll release the locker. And uh, if someone's at the home, your family or your next door neighbours there, you can basically allow them to pick up your parcel authorised control. Today, everything around convenience is around a mobile app somewhere. It's the most ubiquitous technology around. So when we talk about providing convenience, it's about letting consumers use what their tool of choice is, which is a smartphone, being able to track, trace their parcels, authorise deliveries and control where they want their parcels delivered and when they want their parcels delivered. Who are you launching this with and who else are you working with around the world? Well our first customer is actually Singapore Post and I, th I believe Singapore Post were presenting at the conference here today. So we are actually going to be working with them, they are our first customer for this product and they'll be looking to launch a pilot in Singapore this year. And with other customers you're working with around the world with your other products? Well, we certainly hope so. That's the plan to come to Post Expo and show the world what we can do. As a technology provider, the best way to demonstrate capability is to be at shows like this and show what's possible. And with that, how are you finding the show this year? Look, it's the first day and the morning's been fantastic, so uh, can't complain so far.